That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? So I got us recording now, and uh, oh, I don't have our. <laughs> At least we can be on the. We we look better today on the video screen. So this is um, Saylin. I'm gonna introduce you to Saylin Woodside. Hi. Hi. And uh, you interviewed her mother. Um, yeah. I, I, that, as soon as you said her name, I'm like, okay. Then you remembered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We haven't been able to find it. She's been looking. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't ask me to find it for you, Miss Kathy. No, I didn't ask you, but I was looking for it for myself. By well, myself. If you wanted to say, hey, can you find it for me? I'll, I'll, I'll get on there. Okay. Uh, so, Lynn, yeah. I, you didn't hear it yet, did you? No, so? I have not heard it yet. So uh, what Celine wanted to ask you, because you are quite... I told her that you are quite proficient in the use of uh, your iPhone. And it's not just a phone for you, even though that's the main function of it. So you want to ask him any other questions? Uh, I was going to ask you, how like do you use your phone? Like, not like, I know you use it for like text messages and call, but like, what else do you use it for? Um. Everything that I can think of, I use it to uh, send emails. I use it to text. I use it to, uh, if, you know, social media uh, purposes. I need to use it to make calls. Uh, I use it to, um, when I'm too lazy to look up information, I'll just ask Siri. Ask Siri. So just a ton of, uh, a wide array of, uh, array of things that I use it for. So. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, is that your cell phone your uh phone is used on your videos on your channel uh i only use i only use them well i only use them for uh to to do edit editing and and then sometimes if i go live i'll use my cell phone but i mainly use use my computers but lately since i i, I haven't i've been so busy i just you know because um there's a platform, platform not to go put it, go ahead myself. There's a platform that I use that allow me to stream to various platforms. I, I use my computer for that purpose. But now, in a, in a, uh, in short layman's term, I just use my uh, my iPhone just to go live and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. What kind of com computer do you use? Do you use a uh, uh, PC reg or uh, yeah. Mac? PC. Oh, PC. PC. And I I think they they gave me I'm, right now I'm on a laptop. Oh, yeah, cool. I have Windows 11, 10, I think. Windows 10 or 11. I think I want to say Windows 10, but I use PC. So are you using JAWS on that for your yes. screen reader? Cool. Yes, I'm using JAWS uh, 2022, the latest version. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's way ahead of the one we had. Yeah. <laughs> Which, what do y'all have? Um, I think I had on this old computer We, we had the oldest jaws yeah well we're supposed to be getting the um the license renewed uh, because it's been that many years since i had a student that needs it so now Saylan's going to learn more detail about it and so we, we are going to have the license updated and get the uh, the latest version but that you was like, yeah. uh the the school system pays for it how long would that take uh, it shouldn't take long. We have a lady that's been out, um, our AT person that yeah. takes care of it. She's been out. She had complications with the COVID. So uh, we're just waiting for her. But, um, you know, if if I had permission, I know I could I could load it up. But I have to wait, yeah. you know, go through the proper protocols and stuff. So. Man, Forget all that. I have, a, I have, I have a. You, you can have. I have two keys left on my old uh, Jaws 2018. Uh -huh. you, if, you, if you come by my house and get it, you can use it. You can, you can have it. I mean, I, you know, use one of the keys. Oh, okay. For free, I, I'll give it to you. Okay. I'm serious. 
seriously. <laughs> so, so whenever you're in this, because you do a lot for me and, and, and you help me out. So whenever you're in the neighborhood, I'm going to give you the disc. I think I, I think it's on the disc and something else. You're not, you, you're very proficient with computers, right? Yeah. I got to do is load it on there and use one of my keys. I have, I, 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 right on this computer here, I have the updated version. So I'm, I'm, I have another computer where I have the 2018 on, and that's why I do my uh, social media work, networking and all that. Mm -hmm. And I, ha I only use one of the keys, if I'm not mistaken, because I have two left. Okay. Oh, that's that's really nice of you, Anthony. No, that, no. You, every, anytime I say, Miss Kathy, can you can can you you do? So no, nah, I'm, I'm no appreciate what you do. Okay. Well, we appreciate mm -hmm. you coming, taking this time out with us because I know you're working and now you're like a two jobber. Uh, I don't work at the lighthouse anymore. So, uh, oh, selling cool. and, yeah, I've been, I had been quit. It was okay. Too much. So you're full time yeah. with the, the insurance. But, yeah. Okay. Ups and downs, but I, it's new to me. So I'm having to learn how to call people and, and, and some of them hang up in my face and this and that third, but I'm, I'm getting to hang up because I was always, been, I was always in promotions because I used to be in the entertainment business. So I knew how to promote my music. So I know how to now deal with situations, but it's exciting because each day is different. And okay. that's what I like. I like challenges. Yeah, and Ms. Michael has been telling me stories about you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they're all false. <laughs> 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 so what's her name? Saylin. Saylin. What so what do you do? What do you what do you what do you do? You're like a student? People, yes, people. sir. Um so I was born with BBS, which is Bardell right. Beetle syndrome. Uh-huh. So right now I still have my vision, but it's decreasing. So I'm I'm a student at Zachary High, and I've been learning since I was five years old in Braille. Okay, so you you're proficient in Braille? Uh, now she's pretty proficient. We're working on the uh, speeding up the tactile reading. Uh, I've been teaching her since when well, you were in fourth or fifth grade. I think yeah we, we just had to get her serious on it and when we started getting serious she uh, uh she was reading braille by sight and then we had to start yeah. working on that tactile braille so right. now she's like one year she increased from i'm gonna brag on her a minute because <laughs> you know after you get her to see the purpose and stuff uh she was reading at like 18 words per minute so now yeah. she had some readings up to 50 words per minute. Okay. This okay. year. So we're trying, we're we're thinking that um, you know, you'll be able to read those novels and texts because she loves to read. So oh, okay, that's good. So yeah. my, my older brother, he's cited. He's the one who got me in the reading when I was three years old. Yeah. He would he would read to me. Oh, okay. That's what I wish I did more of. I just, you know, I you know, now with the iPhones, I just, you know let it read but i i still have i'm still proficient with braille and i don't i just i'm trying to need to make, start making time for like to read books and stuff like that because i that's like doing when i was younger and stuff like that uh you have anyone that transcribed your braille and stuff like that Ms. Kat? i do it myself would you, would you you braille it up on a braille writer uh i used to do it on a braille writer we have two juliets right now yeah we um, have okay, the so old juliet and the newer one Okay, that's good because I was going to say that if I need some transcribing, like um, Braille, I have a, I have the Pix Blaster that does it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pix Blaster. Yeah. And I mean, you can say, send it to me in a PDF file and I'll, I'll print it out for you. If oh, you ever get PDFs. Oh. Okay. So, well, we probably will need it. Um, need you to do some PDFs that comes from her teacher uh, because I don't think that um, the program that I have, the uh, programs that I have will do that. I use I use Adobe. What 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 we, what we can do? You can just send me one. Send me a PDF file uh -huh. and let me see and, and let me try it out. Which most like because I have the uh, my girlfriend paid for the Adobe. Uh, it's like fourteen dollars and it does all the uh, the tra you know it'll it'll transcribe transcribe from uh, well it'll export from um, Adobe Acrobat or a PDF file to Microsoft or a spreadsheet or Excel something like this. Oh wow! Let me try it out and. And I'll see. That's really neat. Yeah, because see, that was going to be my problem. She doesn't have a lot of stuff that's coming from her classes that need to be transcribed right now, uh, but it will be soon. 
And uh, that, that was one of my issues was uh, PDF files. Because for my other student, my former student, the one you know from a long time ago, um, we didn't have that option. And I was brailing everything by hand on a Perkins. Uh -uh. Everything. But we we also do have Perkins over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have I have a, I have a Perkins braille writer that I also use. I never I never will not stop reading braille. I think that's necessary. A lot of people like you know they because of the iPhones are like you know they they kind of shy, shy away from it. But no, I love my braille. Love my braille and try and any chance I get like with this with this job here it allows me to act, actually constantly. Uh, use my brailing skills and, and what have you. So that's that's a good thing about working in this line of work. But yeah, okay. Miss Kathy, you can um send me a um PDF format and let me see if it, I, I you know. If, and if not, if I have any problem, I can speak with Miss King. She probably can help me out too. But it shouldn't be any problem. Okay. I'll be you know, I, I know Miss King. Miss. Yeah, that's my that's uh, yeah that's my girl. Miss mm -hmm. Robin King or Miss Gwen King. Gwen Gwendolyn King. Okay, yeah, she's yeah. one of my best friends. Yes. Oh yeah. That's, if you that's if me. you ask her about me, she'll she'll talk. To yeah, her. she always asks about Ceylon. <laughs> okay, I sure will. She, I've been waiting to uh, speak with her. She's supposed to be doing something for me, but yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm, that's a real. She was like a. Uh, she she mentored me when I was at, at school for the vision and She did the same to me. <laughs> yeah, her, Mr. King. You know, yeah. well, unfortunately, he passed away. But yeah, those yeah. They, I, I was a little bitty kid there. Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm hmm. But yeah, anything that you that I could do for you, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know, email me or whatever, and uh, I'll do my best to get it done. I mean, most I'll get it because I know how it is when you, you know, because I had to get all this from vocational rehab services, and they gave me the the re, uh, the camera that reads. It's like an open book thing, and okay. they gave me computers. They, they gave me whatever I needed in order to right. to uh, be uh, uh, be able to work in, in the workforce. Be able um, to, you know, this is what I was explaining to Saylin as well when she talks to. Um, uh, LRS and they evaluate her. They take over from what we do at the school. So things that she needs outside of school after she graduates, they will provide things like that for her work. Like we've been learning on uh, a small note taker. Mm -hmm. And so not like a note taker. like Yeah, there's a new um, Braille trail. It's like a precursor to the note taker. Huh. Uh, so she's learning that so uh, we can get her into the, hopefully, uh, this coming fall into the Braille note taker. Okay. Well, I also have the Braille display too. Like it's it, it's like electronic Braille that, that they provided. It's called a Focus 44, okay. Focus 40. And I have that. So. Oh, that is too cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so anything that I, that I can, you need, that I needed in order to uh, be self-sufficient, they provided it okay mm -hmm. i have a question what tools do you need to do insurance well you have to have license first of all and once one and depending on who, who you work with uh their 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 their, their setup may be uh web-based or maybe uh you know uh, they may have their own system that's the determining factor because i was working for another company and it was not web-based uh so that was very hard for my jaws to actually work because it was like a private pro, uh, per, uh, programs that they use, a private in the, uh, company that made the program, so I couldn't work with them. So in in, in a nutshell, you need your you need the, you need your your endurance, you need uh, tenacity, you need the you need the uh, the the, the um, license, of course, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, the, yeah, of course you have to pass the insurance test. That's it. Yeah, okay. my. You oh, can, go ahead. You can. Oh, so you do? Do you do most of it at home? From home? Yep. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. My mom I used do. to do insurance, but she didn't really like it. Yeah, I mean, I, to, I, I like it, but I don't like it. I mean, if I had choices to do something else, but I was at the light, lighthouse forever in a day, and I had to move on from that because I did not like doing it. Oh, Well, yeah. it's beneath your degree. Yes, ma'am. Let me get this. Hello? 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 Anyway, yeah, it was, uh, I was working at a factory and I did not like that. I did it for nine months, but I was never, I'm not a quitter. So, um, 
you know, I had a family, so I had to maintain and do that until I found something that was different. So I, I decided to go out on a limb and, and get my insurance license and I passed it and I moved on from that. And, and I feel much better, much, much yeah. relieved. Yeah, and as Michael was telling me that at the lighthouse that he was kind of wreck free. Right. Yeah, they, 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 it's not, it's not a place for me, uh, but it may be for other people, but I just can't, I could, I could, I just couldn't do it for the rest of my life, making cups. Yeah. Oh. I had, yeah. student, I had a deaf blind student in Florida that worked at one. We had to train her from the classroom uh, to get rid of certain, cause she was, she was uh, actually, um, she had a mental age of like two. She was 21 years old. So in the class, we had to train her to be able to sit for a while and to be able to put uh, pins together, like ballpoint ink pens with mm. the little spring and everything together and do so many in a certain amount of time till we, we had to time her. And so because she was going to have to be able to be there without us to sit. Right, in. right. And um, so training her for that was, I mean she had that self stem thing where you know like certain people uh with different disabilities like th there's a certain uh, what they call blindisms well she had one um self stem thing where she would take anything that was in her hand and tap it on her teeth oh god now it, it sounds that. like you know it sounds but something about that soothed her when she right. got nervous and it was a like sensory self sensory thing right but yeah. she didn't have time to do that if she was working. If she if she made a pen and she stopped to tap her teeth ten times, then that would have been time for another pen because they right. get money by what however many pens they use. Right. So, yeah, we had to train her in that. But I saw some late people who were uh, higher with a ment higher mental age. Um, they could do that job and do it faster and do it you know, well and make enough money, but uh, so it's not for everybody. I mean, right. certain jobs that, are, and they don't do the same thing at every lighthouse. They don't have the same kind of thing. I'm, I'm glad I'm over there because it, it was just, it was bothering me every day. Like first day I went there, I'm like, this is all we're gonna be doing? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Huh? I stuck it out though. Resilient, yeah, very resilient. It has to be tiring to just make cups over and over again. Well, it's the it's the it's the fact of actually bagging and boxing the cups. That that was the that was the thing that I hated. Mm. Just oh. be able to pass it. So. Yeah, but that's behind me though. So moving <laughs> forward. Moving forward. Yeah. And when one thing I have to brag on Anthony about is he's always looking forward, looking ahead, and figuring out that okay, how am I going to get from here to here? That's right. Because people are not going to always do it for you. So he just had that mindset. I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. find out how to get from here to here. And, he's and that's important. That's important, especially in, in personal impaired. It be a vis, vis, visual hearing, whatever. You have to think about if this is for you or you have to, you know, you have to think of the, 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 the long, you know, the, the long term effects about, you know, when you when you're doing stuff, especially if you don't like doing it, you, you have you just don't settle. You know, what I'm saying? if you can, if you have the opportunity, and and uh, and this is really true, if you have the opportunity to try to do better or pursue or whatever, because you only get one chance, do it. You know, what I'm saying, don't yeah. don't don't look back and say, man, I wish I, you know, and that's what that's why that's why I wanted to move away from the lighthouse so so bad because this one this was not for me. It, it never it never taught me. It didn't really teach teach me anything because I had already been working prior to because I had my own business. So it was just like it was like Miss Kathy was saying was it was, really was beneath me. But I, I respect those who do work and I have nothing against those. But it's just me. I graduated from LSU. I want to use my brain in other capacities and whatnot. So you know, it didn't really teach me anything except um, to be patient. Yeah, <laughs> I understand what you mean. I think. Like, I love animals. That's what I've realized. I love animals. But I don't want to be a veterinarian because I feel like if I'm blind and I'm giving a dog a shot, that I'll hurt them. Mm. Well, there are other areas in the, in the veterinary field that you that probably, that your services probably can be used. So don't, don't, don't just think of just giving shots because, you know, it may be paperwork. It may be soothing the animals. It, you just never know. Just, you, you just It's a matter of just doing your research just, just to find out. You know, because I ain't gonna lie to you, thanks thanks to technology, 
there's no, you know, and, and this is for individuals who are visually impaired. There's no such thing as can't or they shouldn't or you. I don't have the ability or nothing like that because they have technology that, that allow you to actually see things, you know, with the with the glasses, you know. So there's no excuse. I don't think unless you just want to be lazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm no, just, I don't want to be lazy. No, 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 no. Tell. I, I wasn't saying you. I'm, I'm speaking in, in more in more <laughs> uh, general terms. Unless a person wants to not do it. You know, you have the opportunity because you work, you know, yeah. not you. But I'm just saying, like, there are some um, visually impaired people who just want to just sit at home and don't, and, 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 woe is me type thing. No, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't respect them. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm straightforward, but that's that's just me. I but I was not specific. I, not, I wasn't speaking of you. Because I, I, I had a person that, that um, would contact me and always wanted a job. I said, well, why don't you try this? Had an excuse for everything Steve. that you suggested. I yep. think, I don't want to move here. The traffic is too bad over there. They don't have a good place over there. I went to that. And you, you know, I had every kind of excuse. I said, well, you just don't want to do. Right. Yep. <laughs> when it all boils down to it. Stop mm -hmm. complaining. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I appreciate your, your time. And we, um, you know, we were checking on iPhone, but I enjoyed uh, we, the, the information on other technology was is has been useful because we've been yeah. talking about that too and we've been talking about a lot of um self life skills because like i told her mother is when when i'm teaching braille it's not just how to read braille and there are certain life skills that she's going to have to learn before she leaves here yeah. and i don't want her leaving this school and and being having my name on her records and then she doesn't know how to, you don't know how to do this you don't have, you can't um like take care of your own clothes you can't take care I, i'm trying to get that yeah. that kind of stuff those life skills across to her too and my well, mom I, my mom wait. wants me to be as independent as i can yes i want well, to I, that too i think what you're doing miss captain is, is very commendable if you get in touch with different people get and get different perspectives like i got uh my friend named george in texas i got a lot of other people and you get those perspectives and not, you know, not just one. You have a whole conglomerate of, of of things that you can basically go on because everybody's everybody's experiences in life is going to be different. Is going to be different. Nothing is going to exactly. be the same. So this, what you're doing by getting on this Zoom and, and you call it old 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 stu uh, students and stuff like that and and talk with them and get their experiences is a, is a is a first step. And I think that's very very commendable thing. Look at me trying to be all sophisticated. This, ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> Well, thank you. I told her, I, well, we did talk to George. Yeah, we talked okay. to Mr. George, um, I think, Tuesday. Uh -huh. yeah, we talked to him on Monday. Yeah, Monday. Uh -huh. And I said, both of us said that they're, they're two very independent persons. However, they have two different ways of, uh, yep. I don't know, expressing themselves. Or right. Not. Yeah. So, you know, because different people are just different. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And I always say I admire George. I tell him to his face, man. I say I admire you because I ain't gonna lie. He he travels like nothing. nothing. And, you know, I've traveled in my younger, younger time, but this this guy is everywhere. I'm something like man. Yes. Yeah, so I commend him on that. Wrigley Field. He goes mm -hmm. by himself. Exactly. He's and everywhere. He um. He just you know, moving. Yes. He came yep. up to see me. He knew I was at the um, stem cell hospital at MD Anderson. And he said, what floor are you on? And uh, I told him, when you come upstairs, you're going to do that. He came up to see me. Mm -hmm. I see. He's everywhere. Here. And he when I go back for checkups, I said, George, I'm here on such and such a date. If he can make it to see me, uh, we'll be, pick out a restaurant and uh, my family yep. will be there. We'll just, I found a Hawaiian restaurant one time. And he mm -hmm. said, oh, that's on the train. Exactly. He and knows. And <laughs> oh, my God. Looked out the window, George is coming up the street. Yep, I, I told him, I, mean, I admire you, I really do because you know, I do a little traveling, but not as, not as much as I, you do. I, I, would, I, I would do the exact same thing as you. <laughs> I, I know how to use my cane, I'm still learning how to cross streets and things, but I do know how to use my cane. Yeah, that, that's a tool, definitely. Don't, yeah, because there, there are some people who are embarrassed to use it, man. Hey. What you, you know, there's no need to be embarrassed. I mean, this that's if you want to move around and be independent, you better put that, that and that's really true. You better put that pride in your pocket. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and and keep it moving though. Yeah. But that's good. Yeah, keep keep stay focused and, and whatever you, you know, anytime, you know, if I can come on, like, you know, let me know whatever, whatever, if I can be of assistance, I'd be glad to. 
Oh, we appreciate it. We appreciate mm-hmm. it. And uh, I have one other student. Uh, she doesn't take Braille. Uh, we're going to show, We I, I've been sharing these videos with her. She doesn't come into my class. She's like on console, but I share them with her because of the technology that's out there. And she's not as exposed, I, I don't think, as Selene, because Selene's been coming to my class, you know. Mm-hmm. So um, we, we appreciate it. And um, it, it's very helpful. It's very mm-hmm. informative. Because like I said, I, there are things that I can tell her, but there are people who are actually using or actually out there that can tell them their experiences and right. like, I can't do it. Yeah, like Miss Michael can tell me as much as she knows, but she can't tell me how people experience. Right. And this is the right way. Right. All righty. We appreciate you taking out the time with us. We don't want to take no too much of your time because I know you're working. Mm-hmm. And no thank problem. You so much again. Okay, and, and take me up on the jaws. I mean, and whenever you get a chance, just give me a holler. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. All right. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Bye.